hey guys uh, today's discussion about the SMW holding in 6 G position 6G position so you know the 6 G position is very critical position if anybody holded in 6 G position he will be uh, qualified for all positions so that's why this 6 G position is very critical so we know from the beginning uh, how from the performing the 6 G position what we need on the beginning to end requirement so first we go the specification welding process is smw we are using welding process is 5 in 6g oil progression is down to uphill oil polarity is direct current electrode positive root opening is 332 3 by 32 inch to 1 by 8 inch group angle is 60 degree materials is 6 inch diameter serial 40 inch 5 schedule 45 electrode e60718 so this is the specification this is the we need to know before start of the welding so this is specification now what are the safety requirement you see safety first personal protective equipment welding helmet welding gloves welding jacket and the safety so this is the safety concern what you requirement for the for safety for welding pattern even and stratage so we have to pipe we have here on pipe you see here so we are cutting the pipe on the middle of the pipe we are cutting what is stretch edge so we need to cut the pipe with an and straight edge after straight edge what we will do bevel the edges even evenly so bevel in which what are the angle of the bevel so we need to know here we mention here root group angle is 60 degrees so if it is 60 degrees so one face it will be the 30 degrees so bevel the edges evenly 30 degrees so we have to set the gas torch first 30 degree then we have to start the bevel use angle grinder to trim the edges so you have to use the angle grinder to smooth the surface and to prepare the old joint so and that one face is 30 degree the another face is 30 degrees the total group angle it will be the 60 degree we will use see 30 degree so one face is 30 degree that is the measurement it's a 30 degree so we have to check the 30 degree one face root face 332 or 1 by 8 inch so we have to check the this root face as for the WPS, as for the specification, what is the what are the requirement minimum? So this is the root phase. We have to check the root phase as as for the WPS. Set pipes on a V block angle bar. So we have to for the correct fit up, we have to place these two plate of two uh, pipes fit up. We need to put in the set piece pipes on the uh, V block angle bar you can the v block angle bar so you see here this is the correct position and after that we have done the tag welding here so deposit four tag weld so this is the top this is the bottom and don't go side so this is the keyhole okay this is the four side the four tag welds so when you are doing the here tagging is very important we need to check the in the bottom side it should not be overlap in each other it should be in the one plane it should be the plane should be you need to check from here that it should be in one plane so tag well which one you are using the u6010 dc ep set current to 90 ampere so we have to this is the, the normal and if this is not i am telling that as for wb this is a normal requirement this is a set current 90 ampere insert spacer 180 inch every insert spacer tag well before tag well it is spacer we need to put the spacer not one by 180 inch deposit for tag well so in it after that we have to put the tag well four areas after spacer insert weld opposite each tag to prevent misalignment so opposite or the weld if it is the top side it should be go but outside is the left side and the right side okay so deposit three inch uh, three by four inch long tag well at the bottom of your pipe so three four inch long tag well at the bottom of your pipe you have to deposit grind the tag well flask to the groove face using an angle grinder so 
after tag welding grind the tag weld flush to the groove face so i have to grind the tag weld flush to the groove face using angle grinder use correct cutting disc when you need to correct the root gap in so you have to need the current cutting disc when you need to the correct the root gap so after fitting the tag well if you need the need to change the if you need to something you need to rectify the root gap you need to use the cutting disc so this is the tag well you have to do when you are doing tag welding at the time of fitting position your pipe on the welding jig so after that you have to position the pipe in your welding jig you see here it is uh, angle is 60 degree it should be put like this way it should be fixed now welding hand tools what are the hand tools is requirement chipping hammer tong tish tong you see tong steel brush angle grinder steel file this is the requirement for the welding when you are doing the 6g welding or any of the welding you need this type of uh, equipment hand tools you can tell the hand tools perform root first so 45 degree angle is there adjust height of the jig you have to check the adjust it should be controlled by your older it's older in the same height or same condition it should not be more than the older height so adjust height of the jig ground clamp ground clamp should be there hand tools needed hand tools should be there materials needed materials should be there notify the welding assessor that you are ready to start your road pass so you need to inform your welding assessor welding supervisor that you are ready to start at the road pass so all these things when you are finished 45 degree angle and your level and all this your clamp already finished hand to list besides you materials are there electro rod there in front so after that you need to find your welding supervisor that you are starting welding you need to inform you see far from road pass this is you are doing the before the perform road pass then road pass you are starting in the root pass starting there's the deposit of subsequent filling passes so what are the filling passes first is root pass then hot pass you see this is the two passes the filling path and last is the cap capping pass so this is the five surface root pass you have to mention this is the root pass this is the filling pass capping pass so three passes will be there root pass filling pass capping pass in these three passes maybe you are doing welding passes maybe so many okay tips in performing root pass how what is the tips in performing root pass use e6010 inch dc v polarity okay setup set current at minimum 90 amperes okay adjust accordingly depending on your performance so adjust you know how to do the tig welding as a welder so you need to adjust accordingly your performance begin the bottom of the welding so we have to start the welding uh, from the bottom then you have to go up make sure your stance is comfortable so you can support yourself while welding so check your all these things before starting that you are comfortable we can do the welding so this is the tips in the performing the road first then uh, same it is coming make sure you can see the old paddle so you can see the make sure that you can see the old paddle maintain a short arc and concentrate on the root gap so when you are, you are starting the root welding so you have to short arc you want to check the short arc and short arc and then finish the welding then you can check the constant in the root gap is okay or not ensure root first penetration the root first penetration is after the root first finish uh, some one some some areas you need to check the inside the root gap root first penetration is okay or not point your rod to the center of the pipe to melt both edges so point your rod to the center of the pipe so we have to put in the center of the pipe in the uh, where the joint is there so melt will be in both edges Push the rod inside the pipe so the arc is in the means inside when holding. The sound of the electrode burning should be coming from the inside of the pipe. So this electrode burning that it will be coming from the inside of the pipe. So we can inside of the pipe so we know you can know that melting is done properly. If burn hole occurs, stop well to prevent it from the getting bigger. So if you think that burn hole already happened, so you have to stop it and you have to rectify, then you have to and then again uh, to prevent the getting bigger skip the burn hole continue old pass okay skip the burn hole continue old pass return to skip the you have to skip the burn hole and continue the old pass return to the burn hole after cleaning the flag then you have to 
after finish this one one turn you have to find the return to the burn hole after cleaning the slag after cleaning the slag you have to find the burn hole clean the root path and repair burn hole if there is any clean the root path then you have to power clean the root path then repair burn hole because in the in the at the same time you are doing the burn hole then it will not be effective so you have to need to first burn hole uh, you have to need first of the one type food or full welding finish then you have to remove the slag then you have to go the burn hole burn hole repair Slow time your speed if the travel for the road path if the keyhole is large your amperage is too high so if you think that your travels for the road path slow down its need because of the keyhole of the larger amperage if the amperage is too high it can be the burn hole burn through so, okay so your um, area of uh, melted uh, base metal will be deposited uh, it may melted to to, uh, to more areas so it can be affected your the hardness area so slow down your travel speed and travels of the road path adjust amperage accordingly so you have to amperage adjusting accordingly at the same time should arc be broken should arc be broken grind and clean the slag before you continue or old mate so this is the one path is finished your root welding after if you start the welding you have to arc be broken you have to grind it the arc and that area from the beginning of the start because that area it can be uh, some defects and some porosity can be occurred so you have to need to grind and then you can start the, the again the uh, new welding grind and clean and the slack before you can the old man do not exceed root fast the group phase so uh, do not exceed the root first in the group phase okay so root pass root pass it should not be root pass it should not be exit of the group phase so group phase is there there is a you see mention in the group phase is it should not be more than it should not be exceeded clean root pass after finish the root pass grind the root pass until it see signs and clear the slag so, so, so clean the root pass after finish the root pass you have to clean the root pass maintain the groove line so this is the groove phase this is the rate which uh, is mentioned here this is the groove phase so we cannot do you cannot do welding is a more weld beyond your uh, groove phase so you have to maintain your groove line you have to welding inside the groove line welding so clean root phase using the clean root pass root pass how to clean using the angle grinder Clean root path free from slag. Using the angle grinder, you can use the clean root path from the slag. Clean all trap slag and porosity. Redefine the group phase to serve as the outline of your filling process. Redefine. You have to define the group phases to serve your outline. Where we do how many passes we need for this outline surface filling process. Repair porosity or pinhole with 6010. Repair if there is a porosity, you have to repair pinholes and porosity is 6010. Clean root pass until sign. Then load pass you have to clean until sign can be signed. Deposit subsequent filling passes. You see, root pass is here and hot pass is there. So, just filling passes we have to check how many filling passes will come. So, in that basis, hot pass filling passes can be we have to perform. You see, here root pass after that, the hot pass or filling passes is there deposit subsequent filling process so which rod you are using if you see 7018 set current setting as 790 ampere test well to preheat the electrode so when not preheated of an electrode oven so test well to preheat the electrode if it is, if it is uh, 7018 so we definitely need the uh, preheat the electrode adjust ampere setting accordingly to your preference so ampere setting we have to we have to check ampere setting to your preference Okay, and just to clean the filling pass from the flag with an angle grinder before continue with your next filling. So every filling you need to clean your flag and after that you have to do again welding. So deposit subsequent filling pass. So with this short that you have to maintain your subsequent filling passes. Clean the filling pass, define the weld group. So filling passes also you need to clean if your angle grinder or your load brush or uh, your filling uh, if you are cleaning brush deposit subsequent filling passes do not exceed the group phase when welding so group phase it should be welding is under the group phase it should not be beyond the good phase group phase 
using an angle grinder they define old group after each passage years if porosity occurs using an angle grinder so you have to use angle grinder redefine old groove after each process so after holding if each process you need to check the group process that each group process you need to redefine again if porosity occurs clean all the way to the root pass and repeat the filling process are from capping pass use 708 tcp set current setting to 90 ampere same old from 6 to 3 to 12 well from 6 to 9 to 12 feather well ends when starting old bits manipulate electrode from side to side to create a older bit so apart from capping pass what is the use we are doing using 708 set current current setting you are 90 ampere you are using well from 6 to 3 to 12 feather well ends when restarting the old bits okay manipulate electrode from side to side to create a older bit apart from capping pass you see old from 6 to 3 okay then 3 to 12 then 12 to 9 then 6 to 9 then 9 to 12 so this is the the part from capping path how to will perform the capping pass when you're doing perform the capping so from first we will have to go 3 to 6 to 3 you see 6 to 3 you have to have to finish the holding then 3 to 12 we have to finish the holding then we have to go 6 to 9 holding then we have to go 9 to 12 so why we are doing like this way because of the distortion of the material of the stress, stress maybe can be occurred from this more heat input so we have to uh, perform the capping pass like this angle of electrode so this is the most important thing what the angle of electrode we need to check the angle of electrode see here angle of electrode so before this one like this and after this one like this okay this is after finish all this is the before and this is the before holding and this is the after holding root penetration you see the root penetration how we can we can identify that this is root penetration is there it should be in the all areas in the root penetration would be equal if it is a not in the root penetration properly if it is root penetration not done then it can be a defect AWS V2.16 open root 5 holding certification testing show this is the certification testing you see here we cut the old pieces old pieces for the testing purpose you see open root 5 this is the open root 5 holding certification testing this is the bend this is the bend testing for holding so this is the basic idea from the smw 6g position what was the main minimum requirement and how to do welding from the uh, from the specification safety how to cut the stretch and uh, after stretch what you do you need to do be fail and which angle it should be maintained and all these things is mentioned it is a very important for who is doing welding and older uh, those are welding respected we need to check all these things before start of the welding thanks guys to watch my video please see and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic anyway i think uh, everybody has go through all the topics and uh, anyway please if you have any comment just uh, put on my youtube uh, comment box thank you so much again